the thing I'm most thrilled about is that there is a second one. It's hard to have a quadrennial review if it's only one. So now it's happened for twice after four years. And every time that happens, we can assume that there will be one four years later because it is not legislated. The uh, one for the Defense Department is actually legislated that they have to do it every four years. This is voluntary. But so I'm thrilled there is a second one. I'm delighted that they are focusing on development. I'm delighted that they're focusing on partnerships beyond government. That was something we, we focused on a lot. Uh, they are also talking about knowledge management and big data and, and competitions uh, to improve the State Department's ability to do that. So uh, for what I know, from what I know, I'm very, very pleased with the result. It's, it's less... Uh, grand in some ways, but that that makes sense because it's, it is the second and it's building on the first and it's very focused on practical solutions. Uh, are you hopeful that uh, a future administration, whatever color that may be, will maintain the QDDR now? Now that I it's am. had a second outing. And I am. I, and the reason I think it will is that it's a great opportunity for whoever the Secretary of State is to put his or her mark uh, on the building and to be, and, and it concentrates uh, the mind in terms of, well, what are my goals? And it isn't just up to the secretary, but I think any individual secretary would be a fool to give up that kind of a tool. Uh, and symbolically, the fact that it's happened twice now, as you say, yes. it means that there is a series of them. <laughs> there is a it's series, not a unique indeed. quadrennial indeed, TDL. Indeed, and I'm, and I'm grateful to John, to Secretary Kerry for, for wanting to carry it forward. How much of a symbol is that uh, in terms of uh, a shift in the U.S. view of development? Uh, as being a win-win for both the U.S. and developing countries. Yes. How important is it that the next administration understands that? Very. I mean, so what, what Secretary Clinton uh, built on some of the work done by Secretary Rice, but it really Secretary Clinton came to power with it saying, I am going to elevate development. This is my, my goal above all. Uh, and I'm going to make the three Ds, development, defense, and diplomacy, but in the civilian side, development and diplomacy. That attitude has to continue that this is not, it's not charity. It's not a moral obligation. It is in the United States self-interest to invest in countries' prosperity and health and literacy and security. And that that needs to be understood as what I call realism with a longer time frame. You know, realism is all about power and interest. Well, having developed, prosperous, healthy, literate countries in the world is profoundly in the U.S. interest. It's just that it, ha it takes, you know, a decade or decades, and you have to invest for the long haul.